All right, fellas, it is story time once again, and in tonight's bedtime story, we have a true life story of betrayal, hypergamy at its finest, and total lack of accountability, severe lack of accountability. And this story is from the Daily Mail, and this story is entitled, Nothing Will Stop Me From Marrying Him. Mother of nine, who is 44 years old, does not, I repeat, does not regret leaving her children and husband of two decades for a Gambian toy boy, 14 years her junior. And I think they have that mixed up. It's actually boy toy, but uh, maybe they're more facetious over in the UK when it comes to this stuff. So we will just crack right into tonight's article. Uh, you're going to love this one and uh, it is just unbelievable. So let's jump into this. It says, Heidi Hepworth, 44, left husband Andy for Mamadou Jallo, who is 30 years old, from Gambia. She abandoned her nine children to fly out to be with him in the Gambian capital. The mother said, I do not have a single regret. I am not a terrible parent. Uh, yes, you are. Okay? Yes, you are. Oh, man. This gets my gets my blood boiling. All right, let's jump in this and uh, see what she has to say for herself here, fellas. Okay. A mother of nine who left her children and husband of 23 years, 23 years, for a boy toy, 14 years her junior, has said he is determined to marry him. She is determined to marry him. The Daily Mail needs to get some, uh, they just need to get basic spell check, <laughs> right? Anyway, Heidi Hepworth, 44, left husband, Andy, for 30-year-old Memadao Jello from Gambia after a midlife crisis. It wasn't actually a midlife crisis, let's be honest. The chick got a better, she met a higher value male, and she essentially monkey branched to that higher value male. Let's not blame it on the midlife crisis, okay? Let's just not. Because even if she was in her 20s, she would have done the same thing. That is just basic female nature. Welcome to hypergamy. Mrs. Hepworth had never been abroad before, but abandoned her nine children. Nine. This chick has nine kids, guys. She abandoned her nine children to fly out to be with him in the Gambian capital, Banjul. And I'm probably mispronouncing that. Bangul. Banjul. And here is a photo of her with her new younger boyfriend. And uh, looks like she's still wearing her wedding ring in this, uh, in this photo. So very classy. Very classy, Heidi. <sighs> Unbelievable. Okay, let's, uh, let's continue reading here what's going on. So here's a photo of Heidi and her husband Andy back when they were first married in happier times. She has this gorgeous wedding dress decked out in all white. Ha ha ha. Got her bouquet here that she was going to throw to the bridesmaids after, uh, after her wedding ceremony. And uh, I would hate to be one of those bridesmaids that uh, captured this uh, bouquet because... Uh, it's probably jinxed based on Heidi's behavior. It says, Mrs. Hepworth had never been abroad before, but abandoned her nine children and a husband, Andy, pictured in the photo. Oh, what happened? Okay, there we go. It says, Miss Hepworth had never been abroad before, but abandoned her nine children and husband, Andy, to fly out to be with her new boyfriend in the Gambian capital, <laughs> Banjul. Mr. Hepworth, also 44, so Andy over here is 44, he is exactly her age, 
says the ordeal has been difficult for their children. No kidding. As young as six years old. But he is convinced that his wife's lover has brainwashed her. So now we know why this chick is so narcissistic, right? She has enablers. It's always mind-blowing to me how so many of these narcissistic women, and even men for that matter, have are able to find so many enablers who are just willing to cheerlead them on and never tell them that they're wrong. So her husband here is just as much to blame. He is just as much to blame because here he is. I mean, not only is Heidi relieving herself of the accountability of what she did to poor Andy here, her husband of 23 years, but he's enabling that by saying that this guy from uh, Gambia, right, her new boyfriend, has brainwashed her. It's like, no, dude, he didn't brainwash her. Any dude could have done this to her, right? The, the thing is, this other guy who is living um, in, <laughs> in Gambia is desperate, right? Because there's, uh, from what I know, there's a lot of poverty going on out there and... Uh, People are starving, and he saw an opportunity when, when he saw, you know, when he met this American woman online. So no, he didn't brainwash her, dude. She monkey branched because he was willing to take her in. Any guy in the states could have done the same thing. Would you say that they're brainwashing her too? No, she is just a monkey brancher. Let's call a spade a spade. Your wife is a hypergamous, monkey branching, unfaithful. Post wall 304. There you go, Andy. Those are the facts. All right, let's move on. Okay. He said a caring mom wouldn't go off gallivanting around Africa with her new boyfriend. Duh. The, the, person, the person she has become is horrible. What are you talking about, Andy? The person she has become? No, Andy. Andy, my man. She didn't become this person. She was already this person. You feel me? She didn't become this horrible person, Andy. She was already this person. Only now are you, sh are you seeing her true colors. Because what do I tell you guys about your little sweethearts that you're dating? Your girlfriends, you know, the women you're in these LTRs with. You don't know who she is. And you really don't know what she's capable of until you break up with her, right? Until your relationship ends. That is well, that is really when you see what type of person she is, right? Was she this type of person all along or is she a completely different person, right? And, you know, thankfully, most of the women that you'll date, you know, most of the women I've dated personally, um, have that consistency, right? Where even if you break up, it, you know, it's it's really not that big a deal. It's in, in many, you know, in many cases, it's, kind of mutual, so it's fine, right? But when you have these really bad, nasty breakups, I'm talking about the really bad, nasty ones, like my ex from 2006, right? That is when you see what the person is capable of and who they really are. They show you their true colors, okay? When your relationship's over. So Andy here is ridiculous. This guy is clearly blue pill, Clearly not subscribed to the 33 Secrets and definitely not in my 7 Months of Mastery program, right? Definitely not. He would be failing. He would, be, he would get an F- minus from me. Removing the accountability from his wife like he is here. I mean, I understand you've been with her 23 years, but dude, you got to wake up. You got to snap out of it and you got you to gotta look at what she's doing. Right? Look at her behavior. Whatever I always tell you guys, don't listen to a word she says. Just look at her behaviors and look at what this chick is doing. She she went behind her back, went behind poor Andy's back, went online on some dating site, met this clown in Africa. Well, I don't know if he's a clown, but obviously he was, you know, he was able to uh, convince her to come over there to, uh, you know, and leave her family for him. So. Here she was, 
on these dating sites behind your back, Andy. And then she started a relationship online with this guy. Then she just left, got up and left your family, left you with all these kids, did not care. And really, the nail in the coffin here is she doesn't even feel the least bit guilty about it. She is literally standing up proud and saying, I, I didn't do anything wrong. I'm not a terrible parent. I, and I'm not even surprised anymore. I expect this type of lack of accountability, lack of character, lack of values, lack of ethics, lack of morals from these type of modern women, these type of hypergamous women. I don't expect them to do anything different. Problem with poor Andy here is he watched too many Disney movies. He watched too much mainstream media, probably like too much CNN, you know, too much, too many of these, uh, these Hollywood movies showing like where you know, you should be simping to women to, in order to get the women. And uh, now, look at the result. I mean, he's like a deer in the headlights. His wife of 23 years has just done him completely dirty, and she is not the least bit sorry about it. Okay? She's not the least bit sorry. But here he is going, the person she has become is horrible. She was a loving and caring mom. It's like, no, dude, she wasn't a loving and caring mom. That's just what you saw on the surface, right? That's what she was just, I mean, really, she was just, for the most part, she was doing that because she didn't have any other options, right? Until this dude came along. Until this dude came along. A better, younger, more fit version of you, Andy. All right, let's go on with the story. But Mrs. Hepworth defended her actions. Here we go. Mrs. Hepworth defended her actions telling the son, this is the, the newspaper, telling the son, I don't have a single regret. I'm not a terrible parent. And there you have it. There you have it, Andy. There's your little sweetheart that you married 23 years ago and has just cheated on you, abandoned you and your entire family, completely just disrespected the last two, almost two and a half decades of your life together, your relationship together, and is now sitting there saying she doesn't have a single regret and I'm not a terrible parent. Oh my gosh, the lack of accountability here, fellas. The lack of accountability. Heidi, you are a terrible parent. And not only that, but you're a terrible person. You're selfish, you're narcissistic, and you know what? As I always say, karma will come back to get you, right? When this dude dumps you after he gets his green card, because I'm sure that's what he's after, right? If he gets his green card and gets those sweet dollars out of your bank account, uh, he will be off to the next to the next willing victim. All right, let's move on with this article. It was really hard for me to leave my kids. Yeah. Bull. It was really hard for me to leave my kids, but they couldn't come with me. So I had no choice. We are in love, and nothing will stop me from marrying him. If other people don't like that, they will just have to lump it. So if you have ethics and morals, and you don't agree with her evil, selfish, self-centered behaviors, then you know what? Go kick rocks. Go kick rocks. I don't want you to make me feel bad. I'm just doing what I want. I've been told this is what I'm supposed to do by real talk and... People on The View. The couple have six children together and Mr. Hepworth has raised the three children she had from a previous marriage as his own. Oh my goodness, guys. The plot thickens. This chick was a single mom. Oh my gosh. Andy, you dumb bastard. Andy, 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 Andy. Oh my goodness. Right? This chick already had three kids from a previous marriage, and he took her kids in. He paid for these kids. He fed these kids. He clothed these kids. He, pr he probably sent these kids off to college that weren't even his. Can you imagine if Andy even spent one day on the 33 Secrets, not to toot my own horn? He would have gone through some of these single mom videos. He would have gone through some of these hypergamous videos I've done and videos I've done about female nature and he would have been at least, even after just, you know, a day of watching my content, he would have been 
a lot more awake, a lot more alert, and he would have been like, he would have been like, whoa, 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 I don't want to get involved with this, because that M guy said this could get nasty. Oh, that M guy said past behavior usually dictates future behavior, because he or she is doing it again. What have I told you guys? History repeats itself, especially with damaged females. Okay, do not ignore these red flags. What if I told you guys about dating single moms? She is a walking red flag. But poor Andy here, he was just willing to ignore all that because he didn't know any better, right? And this was 23 years ago, so I don't want to ride him too hard. This was 23 years ago. Um, this, pu this article was pub published like two or three years ago. So um, he married this girl, met this, this girl in, uh, or this woman, I should say, in uh, probably around 1995. So this information was not out yet. I get it. However, still, Andy, oh my goodness, man. I mean, even me, I'm, I'm younger than Andy. And I remember uh, in the 90s when I came across a number of single moms. And you know what? Something in my stomach, something in my gut would always, always turn, right? There was only one, and I'm not even kidding, there was only one, um, one single mother that I dated very briefly, and she was great looking. She was a great looking chick, and I remember being perturbed with the fact that she had three kids already, and she was only 26 years old. I was 23 at the time, she was, she was three years older, and I was very perturbed about that, but she was so great looking, I'm like, I gotta go on a date with her. So we go on one date together, it was fabulous, I mean, she was great to me. Second date, we go out together, she brought her kids, and her kids were sitting there, and you know, and she was sitting there expecting me to pay for her kids for dinner. She was already trying to groom me, man. She was trying to groom me to take over for Chad's kids, and even then, as a naive 23-year-old, still blue pill, you know, kid, um, after that date, something in my stomach turned, and I dropped her. I was like... I don't feel good about it. I couldn't explain it, right? I couldn't put it into words, but something in my gut was telling me, this is not a good idea. Okay, even with as much trouble as I was getting into back then, I was like, this is not a good idea. And I ended up ending that relationship. And uh, of course she was not happy, but uh, she didn't, you know, she never came after me. She was still pretty cool with me, but I never, uh, never went back there and uh, don't regret it either because some other poor sucker or many poor suckers probably came after me and are ended up paying for those kids. So, th I mean, this is why I tell you guys, trust your gut, right? Trust your gut. Even if I'm not there to coach you personally or maybe you don't have your cell phone on, me, on you and you can't watch these videos or get up to speed, what do I always tell you? If I'm not around, trust your gut, okay? Trust your gut. This is a sad story, fellas. Poor Andy's getting completely annihilated, has, is having his life destroyed right in front of him by a single mom that he married and stayed married to for 23 years and had three children from a previous marriage. Unbelievable. And here she is here, by the way. Um, I mean, I could even have a little sympathy if this chick was at least a little attractive, but no, man. I, uh, I mean, I hate to judge, but I mean, obviously she's doing Andy wrong, so uh, I have no problem saying that, yeah, this chick is like a negative five, man. Uh, this is really, really bad. And it says here in the, uh, subca uh, the subtitle, Mrs. Hepworth, pictured here, defended her actions saying, I don't have a single regret. I'm not a terrible parent for the third time. Okay, we get it. You don't care. We get it. You are not sorry whatsoever. Okay, we get that. Okay, we get it, Heidi. Um, and here you could see her lovely tats, and I say that sarcastically, um, going down the side of her body here. Yeah, the tats are always a red flag, guys. Especially excessive tats, sleeve tats, or uh, even back in the day when they used to do the tramp stamp on the back of the girl's upper part of her... Uh, her uh, derriere, otherwise known as her gluteus maximus. <laughs> I'm sounding so scholarly today. Okay, uh, moving on with the story. After she went to Gambian capital Banjul, concerns were raised about the three youngest, age 6, 9, and 11, by a neighbor because 
Mrs. Hep Hepworth's absence was so unusual. However, police later found them, her and her boyfriend, staying legally with their 29-year-old sister. Mr. Hepworth, who served in the Royal Navy for four years, added, she had three children from a previous relationship, but I brought them up as mine. <sighs> Man, I feel like contacting this dude and telling him that I have some lovely beachfront property in Mexico that I, I need to sell. Or letting him know that I have a bridge in New York that I'm just going to sell for the generous price of $3 million. I mean, this guy is so naive. So, says they, she had three children from a previous relationship of, of before, they, uh, before they got together, and he brought them up as his own. And then we had six of our own. So this guy, not only does he... Not only does he marry a single mom, but he goes ahead and has six more children of their own. This is how they got to nine children. That's way more than the Brady Bunch for all you Gen Xers. And here she is right here. Um, yeah, what a stunner, right? What a stunner, guy. guys. Uh, I mean, poor Andy was thinking a chick like this would never leave him. Uh, guess again, Andy. Unbelievable. And in closing, it says, In becoming this new person, this is Andy talking, In becoming this new person, my wife forgot all about her family. And they're the most important people in all this. Dude, again, Andy. She didn't become a new person. Okay, like I said, this is the person she always was. Problem is, you didn't see it yet, right? You didn't see it yet because that is the problem with these damaged females. You don't see this type of bad behavior until your relationship is ending. And the reason why your relationship will end is because she met another guy that she's about to lily pad to, right? She met a higher value male who doesn't even have to be that much higher value than you. He could just be a little bit younger than you, a little bit more jack than you are, and boom, she's gone, right? I mean, because clearly this guy is living in a very poverty-stricken part of Africa, and uh, <laughs> I mean, you just can't make this up. But this guy, her, her husband is just as much to blame as she is for all of this enabling. It's almost like he opened the door for this type of behavior. Okay, and that lack of respect that she had for Andy, because she, if she even had <laughs> the amount of respect required to uh, keep, you know, to keep her around, right, which is 51%, like I tell you guys, um, she would not have done this. But because her respect level for Andy was probably somewhere in the, you know, in the, uh, in the teens to the early 20s, she had no problem doing this thing. But this, this buffoon is saying that, oh, you know, becoming this new person, she forgot about her family, and they're the most important people in all of this. It's like, dude, when will you wake up and just hold her accountable? Because if Andy held her accountable just once, just once, that would have been enough to buy her respect for several years, right? Several years. Guys, when you call your girl out, when you hold her accountable for her piss poor decisions and her bad behavior, Guess what happens? Her respect level for you elevates. Simple as that. Simple as that. And by default, guess what else elevates? Her level of attraction for you. Okay? It elevates by default, guys. But when you just let things slide and you're like, no, I don't want to upset my baby today, even though, okay, I, I, I kind of... I kind of see how she's wrong, but I don't want to create conflict. You let these things go, like a lot of you got simps in your marriage. You let these things go. Next thing you know, your girl is communicating with some Gambian, you know, dude in Africa, talking about how he wants her to come live with him. This is how this happens. This is how this unfolds. Okay, so let's finish this up. Miss Hepworth previously told the son she had drifted apart from her former husband. Yeah. Uh, let's see when you started drifting apart here, Miss Hepworth. Could it have been when you met this guy online? Did it 
just coincidentally happen at that time? Of course it did, right? You're not fooling me, man. And you don't fool any other red pill guy out there. But you know who you do fool? You fool all of these blue pill simps just like Andy here, your poor husband. Fooled him. Oh, we just drifted apart. You know, it just happened. No, no, no. Because had you not met this Gambian dude, had you not been online, um, you know, whoring yourself out and trying to get validation from other dudes, had you not been doing that, any of that, uh, you would not have drifted apart. Okay, you would not have drifted apart. If she, even if she did get online and she was getting rejected, rejected relentlessly, which I'm pretty sure she was. Okay, I mean you can't make this up. I, if this chick created a dating profile online and was like, I'm a single mom with nine kids and I've already been divorced and I'm on my second marriage, 99% of guys are going to be like, no. And the fact that she's pretty unattractive to boot. I mean, not only on the outside, but the inside, clearly, right? Uh, that will wipe out almost 100% of any potential male suitor that would have wanted to take a risk, right? But because, you know, it's, it's the internet, she could reach guys far and away, right? She could reach guys in other continents, which clearly she did from a very, 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 very... Uh, desperate country, right, where people are literally starving. And it says here in the last, uh, in the last uh, sentence of this article, it says nearly half of Gambia's 2 million population live in poverty. Oh, surprise, surprise. I already knew that, right? I don't know where Gambia is, but I, I already guessed it just based on this guy, this young guy, he's not bad looking, going for this single mom with nine kids, that is a negative five in looks. It says the average income is... Uh, eight per week, which is basically uh, around 10 to 11 USD, right? 10 to 11 USD per week is what the average income is in Gambia. I mean, I make that in like literally a minute just existing, not even having to work or do anything, right? Uh, because of my business. But there, that is the average income, probably slaving away for an entire week of work. So this guy lives in a population of two million that is in uh, pro in poverty. So somehow he was able to find an internet connection. Can't be that bad. And he was able to go on. And I'm sure he was just trying to swoon any of these women that he could to come over there, right? Because we don't know how this story is going to play out. I'd love to see an update on this. Uh, to come over there. And uh, so he could get access to possibly a green card so he could come over to the U.S., he could get access to her bank accounts, get some money, right? But I, I, I'm going to highly doubt that this guy um, is hurting, is hurting for better-looking women. I'm sure there are better-looking women exactly where he is, right? There's no reason to go online, but she is just so enthralled with the idea of being with this younger, hotter dude that she probably could never get in a million years especially here in the States, much less any other country. Um, so she has to go to, you know, basically a country where um, people are starving and they're desperate, right? They're desperate. So I would not be surprised if this is just a ploy to take advantage of her, which it probably is, right? It probably is. And here she is. She threw away her marriage. She threw away her family. And, you know... Hopefully Andy does not, does not take her back when she comes crawling back, but something tells me Andy would because he's such a wuss, you know, unless he finds content like this, guys. Uh, that is the only way Andy will wake up. But, uh, you know, I mean, with, when it comes to these blue pill simp type guys, it, it's trying to feed them red pill content is like trying to drag a horse to water, man. They just have to, they just have to come to it on their own when they're ready, when they've kicked, been kicked in the balls enough. And... As they say, some people have got to learn the hard way. And as you see, Andy himself just has. <laughs> so as always, guys, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think of this woman's story. Any comments you want to add, anything I've missed, anything you want to share, any experiences you've had of your own dating these single moms who are just, I mean, even with all these kids, all these children under her belt, and all these divorces, they're, they're still going out there and just dumpster diving and trying to get whatever 
whatever opportunity they can to uh, to just go out there and <laughs> spread their legs. I mean, it's just so sad. But drop your comments below. And as always, make sure you smash that like button. Also, hit that subscribe button as well so you're subscribed to the 33 Secrets and you don't end up like poor Andy here. Okay? And for all you guys who want to support my work, uh, make sure you click the links below. Get into 7 Months of Mastery so you don't end up like Andy here. 7 Months of Mastery where I'm teaching you not just pick up and dating advice, but red pill pick up and dating advice, right? I'm not gonna teach you to go out there and supplicate to these women, validate these women. Instead, I'm gonna teach you how to go out there and attract these women and get these women to respect you and fall for you and chase you, right? In a manner that you are not supplicating to them because otherwise you'll end up like poor Andy here. So that is the best way to support my work, so click the link below if you want to get in seven months of mastery. It's only one buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons. So take advantage of it. And it's really easy to get signed up. It just takes two seconds. Like I said, click the link below and it will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. And until next, until next time, gentlemen, I will see you in my next coaching video.